The purpose of this tutorial is to demonstrate how to configure the proofing options in Microsoft Word so that you can find your spelling, uh, grammatical, and punctuation errors uh, on your assignments before you submit them for a grade. It's very easy to do. This is Microsoft Office 2010 and uh, so the settings will be in a different place if you're using Office 2007 or, or Office 2003, but basically uh, they're all uh, the same. So wherever they're located, uh, look for the options and the proofing tools and you'll be able to, to uh, configure these settings. In uh, Word 2010, simply click on the Backstage here, which is the File tab, and then select Options. And this will call up the Word Options dialog box. Then you'll click on the proofing option here. The first uh, section here applies to all of the Microsoft Office programs. So the settings that you set here would apply to Excel and PowerPoint and all of those. But in this next section down here, we have when correcting spelling and grammar in Word. All right, what I recommend that you do is to have the first four items checked. You don't really need to see readability statistics, but you do want to make sure these first four items are checked. And then under writing style, where it says uh, grammar only, you want to make sure that you have more than just your grammar being checked. And I'll show you by clicking on settings. If when you have grammar only set, then you're not going to be checking for things such as uh, commas and punctuation and uh, spaces between sentences. All you're going to be getting are grammar things being checked, and those are important. But there are also issues of style that are important. For instance, uh, not using cliches, uh, contractions, gender-specific words, um, and p uh, passive sentences. You want to make sure you use active voice as much as you can. So here's what you need to do. You want to come into writing styles and where it says grammar only, click the arrow and tell it to select grammar and style. And then when you click on settings, you'll see that everything is checked. Everything except for use of first person. And of course, first person is generally accepted nowadays. It also does not uh, detect here commas uh, required before last list item, and you can either check that or not. Uh, punctuation required with, with quotations and spaces required between sentences. Those are not killer options. Uh, you need to know from your instructor whether or not those are important. And if they are, then choose your options and make the settings. But I would suggest that whenever you click on grammar and style that you just leave everything as it is. And the reason for this is that whenever you're typing, you may, you may be typing along and all of a sudden these proofing rules will kick in and you may see something underlined with a little green wavy line or a little red wavy line under what you've typed. And Microsoft Word is telling you there that something is not standard or maybe you need to take a look at something. Well, if you have it highlighted, then you can make a conscious choice of whether to change it or not. But if you don't have these settings made in your word processor, then you may not recognize that you have made a mistake. For instance, typing the word and or the word the twice in a row, which is a very common mistake. Uh, I do it and I need these proofing tools to help me catch these mistakes that I tend to overlook as I'm typing. And the way you can do that is to always make sure that these first four are checked and make sure that you set writing style to grammar and style and then go to work, write your paper and pay attention to the things that Word will flag for you and then make conscious decisions about whether or not you need to, uh, to correct those things.